Good morning, church. My name is Janu, and this is the testimony of God's saving work in my life. Like many of you here today, I was born into a Christian family, and if you don't know or can't tell by my accent, that was in South Africa. As a young child, I tried to always do the right thing and please everyone around me. One way of doing that was to keep to our Christian traditions of going to church every Sunday and praying before and after meals. Coming to Australia, I stayed in this mindset of rules and regulations around God, never really getting to a place where I had personal relationship with Him. I tried to earn it, and when my life didn't look very holy, I knew something was wrong. I thought, no way could I ever be a Christian or even deserve to be one. I thought my works needed to be perfect, and I realized I would always fail. The truth is, I was empty inside, with no real hope or joy and was ashamed to let it be known. But God is bigger than my fears and failures. I've seen his hand at work in my life over many years, slowly bringing me to him. So it's really difficult for me to point to exactly one moment where God saved me. However, I often think of one experience where God completely redirected my goals and passions in life, and when I truly started my relationship with him. That was during my time in Nepal, doing a short-term mission trip. I remember reading the words of Christ's crucifixion and sacrifice, words that by that time I had heard countless times, but this time it struck me. I was in tears as I fully understood my undeserved position in this redemption story, that Christ died for me while I was the man taunting him with a vinegar-soaked sponge. In light of this, I asked God to forgive me. I confessed my sin and accepted him alone as my Lord and Savior. That was the start of uh, my journey of deep, intimate relationship with God. Reading the Word and spending time with God is a privilege that is so satisfying you've got to taste it for yourself to understand. He has also changed my goals uh, in life to really realize what we are here to do and why He has saved us. Yes, it's for relationship with Him, but mostly it's for His glory. We each only have a limited time on earth. How will we spend it? When I come to the end of my life, I want to be content that I lived for Him. That is the most worthy cause we can live for and also the most satisfying. I just want to end by sharing one of my favorite verses. Psalm 73, verse 25 and 26. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing on earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. These verses give me hope to always, and always reminds me to set my mind on Christ, to look forward to worshiping the one I desire the most, it gives me endurance to walk every day and fight the good fight. There is a glorious light at the end of the tunnel, and he is worth it. Thank you. Based upon your profession of faith and our Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.